before the video starts, I would like to say that almost 70% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. Just click subscribe, you know, just click it. You don't even have to watch the, all my other videos. Just hit subscribe. Adds that, makes that counter go up, makes it easier for me, allows my audience to grow more. Just hit that sub, man. Just, just, just do it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Noob to God, the episode 29. We have one more episode till, I almost said level, till episode 30. I might do something special for next episode just because, you know, we're on episode 30. I kind of like every uh, 10 episodes. It's kind of something uh, special to me. And 30 episodes, that's like a lot of episodes. Uh, this is, I'm pretty proud of this series and I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep to it. Anyways, so I didn't actually do um, any daily rewards off camera. Uh, well, actually, I think I did one, but um, for those who don't know, I did stream me grinding on my Noob to Godly account. That is how I am 105. So if you didn't watch the stream, you might be a little bit confused about why I'm level 105 and um, why I have some extra stuff. It's because I went on stream and I did all this stuff. If you would like to go watch that, it is on the channel. It's right there for you to watch if you want to go watch it. But uh, it was just enough grinding that I could get to 105 and hopefully that we can get some nightmare gear. I didn't really do anything else. But, so we'll see how far we can get in the episode, and hopefully we can do uh, some pretty cool stuff, and maybe get to Ghastly, never know. Probably not, but, you know, it's there, I guess. If you're new here, make sure to like the video, and, you know, if I get over a thousand likes, um, I'll make another Noob with Legendaries video, because I had a blast making that video. So if you want to see another one of that one, just, uh, you know, hit that like button. And subscribe if you guys are new, of course. Um, as it helps me and you can always unsubscribe. So it's completely up to you Anyways, we're gonna go do our daily reward as usual But this time we actually have nightmare gear not insane gear. So hopefully we get something good that is Good. I'm pretty sure the the purple thing is good. Yes dual arcane slicers. Um, okay We're gonna do another one. We got a green one. That's really good. Um, we also got vortex this might be really good because of the uh, moving speed. Hopefully we get another one, maybe. Ooh, we did get mage robes, but it's common. So I don't know if they're actually worth it or not. But the dual arcane slicers and the vortex will help. All right, let's go do some selling. We're probably going to get a lot of gold here, especially the fact that I already have 36 million. This is going to be good. We're going to have a lot of gold. When I mean a lot of gold, I mean a lot of gold. Oh. Uh, I think some people have noticed it's me. <clears throat> well, excusing the people in front of me really quickly, we have 67 million gold. Holy moly. Anyways, uh, yeah, what's up, boys? Who do we got? We have a Dead Meat, Zach, the programmer. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much. Um, but I gotta continue what I'm doing. Thank you guys so much, though. Love the support. Love you guys. Uh, but I'm going to go check over and, and the upgrades. I'm debating, should I just upgrade the slicers? I think I might just upgrade the slicers a lot and see kind of how much it goes up. I also want to upgrade them robes, but I don't know. I don't know. They say, can I be in a video? It'd be an honor. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy being in a video. Should I just max it out? There we go. I just use all my gold on it. 94,000. Um, and then I'm going to throw in the mage armor as well. Um, and I guess we're gonna slowly work on that mage armor, but uh, you know, we have the slicers look at this and we could try the vortex It might be better than the tsunami, but I'm not a hundred percent sure So we're gonna go into canals and we're gonna we're gonna just go in insane to see how Well, we can do it now especially with the upgraded weapon uh, and earn a little bit more money And I just want to test out the vor vortex. So this is all kind of like a test probably won't actually I might actually be able to do nightmare at this point. Ooh, I am excited I don't know how the vortex is gonna work though. Ooh, I actually don't know if I like the vortex Let me try the earth clap and see how much damage it does Okay, maybe we will actually choose the vortex. Oh I didn't mean to do that, but it is a good way to run around. So I might actually rock with the vort, uh, the, 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 the vort, is it vortex? I think it's vortex. It also only has a two second cooldown. Ooh, I do like the vortex due to the fact of the speed. It feels really good to run around really quickly and be able to use a spell at the same time. Maybe if we had two vortexes, it'd be better. I still think the tsunami is better. It does half of their health. So I might actually try and grind for uh, tsunami still. Eh, I guess they actually do about the same damage. And I just like it because I can actually run around with them. Yeah, I 
really like the vortex speed literally speed is so so good like so good in this game as i take damage but it helps so much by avoiding uh mobs it helps you get to certain places really fast uh, vortex op also i completely forgot that we did name the mobs or the bosses in this dungeon uh and my stream helped me as well because i had a little bit of struggles figuring out what i wanted to name them so for the first boss we do have a gandalf okay we got gandalf the mage the gandalf the great second one we actually haven't figured out a perfect name for him but i think i'm gonna call him axie boy because you know we kind of kind of do got an axe and axie boy rolls off the tongue if you know what i'm saying and the final final boss is called bubble boy because i just Listen, he makes bubbles. I like bubbles. It sounds funny. That one also rolls off the tongue. I like Bubble Boy. We're going to keep Bubble Boy for, for Final Boss, especially. You know, I honestly feel really comfortable in this dungeon now that we probably could just do Nightmare if we really wanted to grind for Tsunami. Because if we had Tsunami, we could two-shot everything rather than having to wait for the the vortex damage to go through but who knows the vortex okay the vortex does do i think it does the exact same amount of damage with tsunami or maybe slightly more it just takes a while for the damage to go through and they have to be in the circle the entire time to do that much damage so that's the that's the struggling part and here's a bubble boy which he's going to get destroyed here and gg and we didn't get tsunami which kind of stinks but that's fine i, I guess sort of all right we're gonna go right into canals nightmare i mean we might as well try it right we got new stuff uh i think the only thing that's kind of downgraded is the armor the armor is a little bit downgraded and we could probably get a little bit better and i think we're probably gonna die from like one shots but i do want to see how capable we are of nightmare because we can two shot now in insane so if we can roughly four shot all right so we're about nine minutes into gandalf not terrible we usually hit gandalf around nine ish minutes in insane so so far we're doing okay i guess is the best way to say it okay gandalf seems like he has a lot of health holy moly he uh he is not dying <laughs> seven and a half minutes uh after killing gandalf i think we're doing not as good i don't know exactly obviously but i don't think we're doing that hot but i'm gonna push through we're gonna see how far we can get because you never know knowing me i'm also the one person that doesn't think correctly you know the usual hey axie boy what you doing homie standing there with an axe you know the usual how boring is it to just stand here you know i kind of feel bad for him i kind of feel bad for all the bosses they all just kind of sit there and they don't do anything. They just kind of wait for somebody to come by, a nice adventurer to fight, and they sit there for probably a very, very long time. I mean, hey, man, if you need if you need anybody to talk to, I'm always here, you know? Five minutes, yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to beat the dungeon, but uh, we should see how far we can at least get in the dungeon. All right, so 30 seconds before we get into Bubble Boy's room. I think the only downside is I did die a couple times. And I feel like if I didn't die, we might have had roughly like almost a minute to fight him. But with 6 billion health, I still don't even think we would have had enough time. Because that is a lot of health. And we do take out chunks, but I don't think we take enough damage at all to beat him. So, but to be fair, we did get to the boss room. So keep that in mind. So we only need to do slightly more upgrades to get to the boss and actually beat him. But I don't know what we're going to do first. So this one's pretty upgraded. I might actually go for Mage Robes upgrades. I guess I could sell the Electric Slash and stuff like that as well. I didn't really think about that. 8100. What are we at right now? 84. Actually, all right. We're going to sell our Mage Robes that we ha are wearing right now because we pretty much made our, our, uh, our thing back. I don't know how to t talk. And let's see the upgrades that we're going to do here. Ooh, 8,700. So we did actually upgrade our ourselves to a higher grade armor. We should be, we do have more health as well. We're almost at 100k, which is still significantly slow, but, or not slow, low, but hey, I gotta, you know, I'm doing things on my own. Gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, let's just do a little bit more of some Canals Insane runs and let's try Hardcore. So we haven't actually done hardcore yet. Oh wow, we are destroying insane now. But we can do nightmare, which is awesome. Why do I always say nightmare? I meant to say hardcore. My bad for saying nightmare. I always say nightmare, and it literally says hardcore on the screen. 
but I always forget to call it hardcore. I play this game every day and I still get that confused. I actually almost died there, which was very, very scary, but hey, we made it. Ooh, we actually just got Icicle Barrage as well. Ooh, I didn't know that there was Icicle Barrage. I don't think I've ever really seen anybody use Icicle Barrage before. Icicle Barrage is better. We actually found something that was better than Tsunami. Uh, I'm not gonna get rid of my Tsunami right away. I'm gonna keep it on me just in case because you never know. I might just not like how the, the spell works. So let's go quickly sell the Life Pulse that we got. Oh wait, this is upgrade. I'm all over the place today. All right, and we'll do one more insane hardcore and hopefully we got a little bit more upgraded by then. Maybe we get another ice school. Maybe we get, um, I don't know, actually. I don't think there's anything insane that I really care for now. <laughs> so, I mean, you can't really see much of a difference, but there is a difference. Uh, and there's a one second more cooldown. I, uh, I think it's worth it, though. You are technically doing more damage. I also just took on non-necessarily damage there, which sucks because that's right at the beginning of the dungeon. Now I gotta be extremely careful in the dungeon now. Or I'm gonna die, you know, that makes sense too. We're gonna act like nothing happened. Why? The Dark Magicians don't like to use their spells, man. I've now taken damage at the beginning twice now due to the Magicians just not using their spells. I died at the exact same part I did in the last dungeon. Come on, Ascension, you got this, man. I am I am really tired, I won't lie. I didn't, I didn't get too much sleep, but that's not, that's not an excuse, all right? That is not a proper excuse. I almost said Nightmare Hardcore. That would have been really bad. There we go. We finally beat Gandalf. And we have full health this time. I'm starting to like the Icicles more and more I use them. I think because the range is really good on them. And like even if they're not even touching the Icicles, they still pretty much get damaged. All right. Bubba boy, what you got, man? Actually, please don't give me everything you got. I, I don't have the health to make up for it. Alright, GG. Nothing we need, but we can be hardcore, obviously, with a lot of time remaining, actually. Alright, I'm getting rid of the Tsunami. Rest in peace, Tsunami. F in chat. So, let's upgrade this. We are at 9,800. Significantly way more than we were on our old chess piece and it still isn't super high. It's still only at 437, so we can actually upgrade it quite a bit more um, for a decent amount of gold. So I'm going to do one more Canal Insane Hardcore run uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll switch over back to Nightmare and we'll see if we can actually beat it. I am super, super, super excited to get to Ghastly Harbor because Ghastly Harbor is probably one of my favorite dungeons in this game. And I feel like we're going to have a great time in Ghastly. I just feel like we're going to have a good time. You know, the videos are going to get uh, a little more entertaining. I feel like Canals is a little too plain for me. You know, it's a little too plain. I feel like, you know, the videos, my noob to god these on Canals is a little bit boring. You know, canal is very plain to look at. You know, there's not much to look at. It's not much new stuff, you know. The bosses are very plain as well. Couldn't even think of good names for them yet. Ghastly, on the other hand, is going to be awesome because it's not even people. They're creatures. It's going to be really, really cool and interesting to see what Ghastly is going to have to offer. And it should be within the next couple episodes that we get to Ghastly. Especially if I do another stream. Uh, that would be pretty cool. I almost... I took a big risk there, but I did it anyways. So make sure to stay tuned for Ghastly, because I know we're going to have a great time. Like, that's the one dungeon that I don't think I ever really get bored of. Obviously, if I played it all day, every day only, it would probably get a little bit annoying. It's that one dungeon that I'm not, I'm not bored of, and I really enjoy it. And I haven't played it in quite a while. Actually, last time that I did play on Ghastly was probably on a carry stream. Which, if you like to join the stream, make sure to subscribe and put on that post notification so you know when I go live. And I got uh, I got hit by a dark magician, half health, which kind of stinks. But we were half health last time in the dungeon, and we still beat it, so I think we're okay. We all, we actually almost leveled up as well to 106. Still can't believe we made it all the way to level 100. I still remember my very first episode when I recorded it, and I didn't think it was gonna get any traction at all. I didn't think my YouTube was gonna do anything. I you know I was just doing it for fun. I mean, I guess I still do it for fun, obviously. But I didn't expect to get this far. It still blows my mind that we're still, like, this far in the series. And GG. There we go. We made it to 10,000 spell power. Now, both of these are at 10,000. Um, it would be nice to get a nightmare helm or, you know, hat or whatever the item is. I think it's a hood. It would be nice to get the hood from nightmare. Okay, here we go. Nightmare run. 
Let's try. I just want to be Nightmare. That's all we got to do. We just got to be Nightmare. Hey, we leveled up and we beat Gandalf right away, which is super, super good. And we have, okay, we, we're at seven and a half minutes. I don't really remember where we were last time. I think we were at, what, 7.30 roughly, I think, last time that we were here. Uh, I'm going to try and gather more groups up and um, try to work more efficient, but we will see. Okay, two minutes and we're still not at the door yet. Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough time. Uh, unfortunate. I'm still going to try. We are doing better than we did before. Come on, die, 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 die. There we go. We have one whole minute. The door's opened at exactly one minute. No, look how close he was. Oh, we got him down to one billion. <gasps> no, we were so close. So we need probably like a minute 20 to be done. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Super duper unfortunate there. All right. Well, in that case, we're going to do, I guess, another couple insane runs. Oh my, it's so much easier playing insane than it is <laughs> instead of playing nightmare. Holy moly, so much easier. If only Nightmare was like this. Okay, what is that? What was I supposed to do there? There was nothing I could have done there. What? Why? That was twice in that dungeon where they just shot straight and not at me. What? I even made sure I hit them with my spell beforehand. I got one more canals than me, right? We're gonna do one more canals. Just because after this is done, I'm obviously probably going to get some daily rewards, which will obviously super duper help with Nightmare. Uh, hopefully we can get like another Vortex or something. Um, but we're going to do as much upgrades as we can in this video, just so we're prepped for next video. And I'm not going to be streaming because I, I only really want to do a Noob to Godly stream probably once a week. I feel like I'm overdoing it if I'm doing it more than once a week. I actually got hit by that. I'm okay. Yep. Today is not my day. I am not having good luck today. All right. We got to play super duper careful now because I am dead in one hit from anything. Oh, that. Okay. Those mate. Those magicians. I won't lie. They are making me mad. The magicians semi making me mad just because like I do everything normal, but then out of the blue, there's some cases where they just don't do what they normally do and it kills me because I'm not used to it and uh, they shoot forwards. It's hard to explain. Like instead of them doing that and aiming where I was and then I can dodge away from it, they just shoot in front. So I walk into it because that's not technically where they're supposed to be shooting, if that makes sense. And it is super irritating. It's probably the one thing that I hate the most about uh, long range mobs in this game. See like, that, uh, that was a good example. The guy on the far left there, he shot straight instead of shooting at me. Okay, 